a JustAZ.com production. How to set up and use a caulking gun. A caulking gun is used to force caulking out of a tube into a desired location. Once you've selected the right caulking for the job, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, you will need to load the caulk tube into the gun. Cut the tip of the caulk tube at a 45 degree angle. I usually use a razor knife. Where you cut determines the size of the hole. For a smaller hole, you cut closer to the tip. Match the size of the hole in the tip to the size of the width of the seam or the joint you are caulking. Some guns have a spout cutter. You put the tip of the tube in the hole and squeeze the trigger to cut the tip. I really hate spout cutters, so I prefer the razor knife. Ta-da! This gun has a metal rod on it. Use it to poke the seal inside the tube. If you don't have a metal rod on your gun, use a long nail. Just take it and insert it into the tube. Pull this handle back to pull the plunger back. On some models, you may have to press the trigger. We place the tube of caulk into the cradle of the gun so the tip is protruding past the ring or yoke of the gun. The cup of the plunger should rest against the bottom of the tube. Holding the tip against the area of where you're going to start, slowly squeeze the trigger until the caulk Before we start caulking, we're going to need to prep the area. As we can see, over the years, the caulk has contracted and we got some holes in here. So what we're going to have to do is remove uh, the caulking. Just take a razor knife and just start cutting out the old caulk. You have two different types of caulk, latex and silicone. Latex is easier to apply than silicone and cleans up easier with soap and water. Silicone though is more durable. It's also more flexible, meaning that it's a better choice for seams and joints that expand and contract. Some silicone products require mineral spirits for cleanup, but many don't. Check the label on your tube for the directions on how to clean up. Latex caulk is also paintable, but not all silicone caulk is paintable. Again, remember to check the label. Silicon also works best for non-porous surface, while well, latex can be applied to both porous and non-porous surfaces. I chose a fast-drying acrylic latex caulk with silicon. It dries in 20 minutes, it's paintable, it's good for 50 years, it's waterproof, exterior, and easy to clean up. Let's give it a try. Put the gun in the corner and squeeze a little caulk as you move it down. As you get the bead of caulk all the way around the window, just take a little water. Wet your finger and you smooth it out. If you're a little thin in an area, just come back and put a little extra caulk in there. Once you're finished with your caulking, you just pull the handle back, remove the caulk. This tube is still about half full. So what I do is I take a plastic sandwich bag, put it over the top, 
and wrap a rubber band around it. And it's good for storing. We finished caulking and painting the window. The whole project took us less than an hour. And it's going to save us money on our heating and air conditioning bills in the future. Project made easy by using a caulking gun. Now that you learned how to use a caulking gun, you should try it on other projects, such in the bathroom, around a sink or a tub, or for repairing a driveway. Thanks for watching.